So hello fellow coin collectors, this is another error hunt, this time I've only got 3, 19, 18 coins and what we're going to look for, uh, this coin actually, or this year has actually a lot of dots, so you get a lot of dots around here, you also get a lot of dots in here, in the one and penny, you also can get some doubling and just the usual die cracks and cuds so every year has die cracks and cuds um but yeah let's see what we actually if we find anything so no, i'm just trying to get the lighting on it okay you can see commonwealth also what you need to look for is the thickening sometimes they have lettering that's thickening uh depends on the year but uh that's also random as well see you think that that might be just die fuel but you got to be careful it's not actually not a road on it but that's not a die fuel eh? it's just got a lot of crap in it you can see a lot of uh dirt and whatever else on the actual coin uh, what else do they do? Sometimes they have um, the missing mint marks and mint marks here. So that's a die fill and there's actually missing. So I don't think you see anything on this coin. And also on the date, you can get a broken top of the eight. And you can get a dot between the nine and the one. Do I have a dot? No, it doesn't. Um. So you can probably have dots on the other ones. So on this side, so the obverse side, the R is uh, thickened, so maybe that's normal. Saw that in a 1917 one, but so maybe that's normal. For the ones made in India, maybe it's another characteristic you can actually find. Um, what else? You can find the impression of an N under his chin, but you can find it on a lot of dates. I've not actually found one. So, oh well. Poor me. First world problems. Ah. Uh, what else? On this side. Dot below Iveen Georges, so. Let's. Ooh, is that a dot? Or is that just. Could be. Ah, uh, yes, it is. It's hard to tell, you need to work it around. So, there you go. It's one of the years it's in the book. So, dot below IMV in Georges. And it's not really prominent, so maybe not really much worth worrying about. You can see it there. So let's no. So that's one of the errors. So that's why you need to just twirl it around like this. See if you can get anything. Um just looking at it like this. Probably not gonna see much. Okay. So you need to definitely a dot. And there's also um, I always doubled in George, so you need to check the ooh, probably check the Everlidus as well, because I found that in the Frippens where they had doubling on certain letters in the book, uh, they've actually had more doubling in Everlidus, ooh, yeah, another thing to look for, and that's it for that one. Okay, so here is the second penny. So let's have a look. So there's nothing in the date I can see. Uh, you also need to look in the date for a fickle fin one. Uh, it's probably anything unusual. So don't just rely on the book, rely on your eyes as well. So come off. So this coin is actually a bit worn, so that's why these sides look look a bit, you know, look a bit flat, unlike this one. Uh, 
this other coin, which the beads were actually separated from the side. So that that's just a sign of the condition of the actual coin. So this is well circulated coin. Uh, any doubling? Any other type of errors? So I don't see anything on that. Uh, let's have a look at the obverse side. So on Vex, FD, India, Imperial, I see, R in George, it's also pretty thick, is the O double, no, no, any N under the chin, any, any dots, no, there's no dot under I and V in George's, so I don't see any errors in that one. You can't spend all day on that, so I won't worry about that. Uh, and here's the last one I actually have. So that looks fine. Anything Commonwealth? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. And this is actually quite an interesting thing to do if you're interested in coins. Uh, looking for the errors in them. So I don't see anything wrong with that. It's actually quite, this is actually quite a decent shaped coin. Uh, oh look, another one with a dot under I and V. So the book does have this and that says they're very scarce. But two out of three. Um, I need to get actually a lot more coins to actually find out the ratio of scarce to common but yeah so that's the only thing I see on that so that's that, that's okay I'm gonna keep those so anyway when you get any type of coins look for errors it's just a fascinating thing how about that tea that T has a, is that all right? No, no, it's just a little bit damaged, that's all. Okay, and you also need to learn the difference between damage to a coin. So that T is, you can see it's had something hit it, so it's damaged and it's pressed it down. So, to some people it looks like an error but when you have a just a dot there for no reason uh, you know it's most likely an error and the book uh, confirms it is an error so anyway and I'll just show you uh, the footprints in another video thank you very much for watching uh, please just like and subscribe and uh, have an awesome coin collecting time people. Thank you and bye bye.